Alright, hello YouTube. Um, this is 1991 Oreo. Um, showing you how to fix the EasyCap DC60. Um, not the Plus. It might work with the Plus too, but um, so far this is what works for the DC60. The only thing that I've found to work. I've looked for a lot of different ways to fix the audio. Um, some people are having with problems with video. This should fix that too. Um, anyways, H uh, Easy Cap Experty is a place to buy the Easy Cap. It's way cheaper than the Dazzle, and it works just as fine. They're the same wires, just different software. Um, it's just depending on how much you want to spend. All right. Um, second, the drivers for the Easy Cap DC60. It's meant for the Windows 7, but it works on Vista 64 bit. Um, I'll put all the links in the description, so just watch that watch out for that and um, watch the video listen to the tutorials and you should get audio and video um, read description rate comment and subscribe to me as well as um, YouTube username easy cap experty he's in the link in the description alright so um, the first thing is I had some issues um, just figuring out how to get the driver to work. It seemed like I was hearing like an electronic sound or um, some kind of weird background fuzzy noise. Um, nothing to do with the gameplay. So um, if you're having the same issues then um, hopefully we can help you there. Alright. Um, I am narrating this so it should change soon it looks like I am this is where I ended the video alright so I just uh, went back to my desktop I'm using the view uh, video capture to capture the screen right now um, anyways this is the site EasyCap Experty you can buy all different types of models of the EasyCap personally I have the DC60 so I'm going to click DC60. This is exactly what I have. They ship to um, a lot of different countries, so you shouldn't have a problem there. Um, it comes with the new version of Uli Video Studio. It's the 10.0. Um, that's what I have. It works. It works well. Um, there was a couple of bugs that I had to get through, but um, with this driver, you shouldn't have that much problem. Um, yeah, just go onto that site, buy an easy cap, start capturing whatever you want. You can capture anything you want on your TV. Anything that has RCA, the audio video, the two audios in one video. Um, you can transfer your VHS to DVD. You can do quite a few things. That's a dog that I'm hopefully getting soon. Um, anyways, you go to control panel, hardware and sound. Then you go to device manager down here. Um, just click device manager and you'll see um, universal bus that's USB the second composite on my computer at least is the easy cat anyways go to sound video um, and then you can see the SDK the right there um, that's the video part and then the USB audio interface that's the audio part of the easy cat these both should have a yellow signal on them if they're not working for you. These, the USB might not have it because it thinks it has the right driver. Anyways, you click that, you click the little box that says delete. Um, what you're going to want to do is delete all the drivers that you had. So look on your computer for the drivers that you had for the EasyCat. Um, and then uninstall the hardware like I showed you, the composite device and the audio and um, video part. Anyways, then you restart after you deleted everything. Um, now you go to that site that has the drivers. Um, you download it. Since you don't have any other drivers, that's the only driver you should have. It's, it's on my desktop now. Um, anyways, uh, yeah download the new drivers you should see a little yellow like box right there and um, what you do is you press right and then update go to everything I go to let me pick 
from a dev from devices on my computer and um, it should show you the one that you're using just click on it and press next that's all you have to do it basically reinstalls it and forces it to accept it um, there you go the yellow box should now reload and it should the yellow box should um, yellow triangle should not be there um, should look exactly like my screen and then you do the same for the USB audio you just um, go browse my computer for updated installing and it should say successful there you go um, you can restart the computer again I didn't and I didn't have a problem so I don't think that's nece necessary after you're done with that um, also I found out that it uh, it matters what you plug the easy cap actually into what USB because uh, you need a high speed I think alright these are the programs I use I used a view that's what I'm capturing the screen right now with um, it's a good software you can also capture the easy cap but I like the other ones better um, AMCAP that's a demo it doesn't let you down it uh, doesn't let you upload or anything um, capture it that much so I just use it to test things U lead is what it comes with if you buy from um, the link you get software that's pretty good and it's meant for easy cap um, this is what I use to capture my gameplay on Xbox 360 and then Windows Movie Makers the new one you can find in your Windows update um, and it was, uh, the, the new one lets you put more types of video in it doesn't have so much restrictions um, the other one I use to make HD videos and put them on YouTube anyways I'm gonna test it out on AMCAP so you guys can see um, as I'm narrating I had to disable the audio as I was capturing but you can see the videos working um, the sound is working you're gonna just have to believe me and it sounds very well very good um, anyways I'm playing Trials HD it was just a little tester so I didn't show that much um, good quality can't complain for a really cheap item I think it's if you mess around with the settings you can even get it better and um, you can make it better than the Dazzle I believe or just as good um, anyways yeah I was just showing you the AMCAP you're also gonna have to change some of the settings to make it better um, here I ended the I ended the show the um, video but I realized that I didn't show you something that might be useful um, you're gonna need to change the settings to devices um, and you're gonna have to choose your USB ATV 2.0 um, and then for the audio part you're gonna be wanting to use um, the interface audio interface um, after you do that just to make if it's still not working you might have the um, device muted so what you're gonna um, want to do is I'll show you in one second um, I'll be closing this box out and then go to um, right click on that little musical sound thing go to recording devices and you'll see the digital audio interface and that um, green part going up and down basically shows that it's working um, you're gonna have to right click and go to the properties possibly and go to levels and make sure that that's all the way up or to what you want it to um, just not at zero and also make sure that it says enable this device so it's not um, disabled or else you'll be hearing nothing um, 
yeah don't use line in don't use microphone if you have a microphone connected use the USB I think a lot of people do that and think that it's not working because of the driver anyways this video is basically done subscribe comment rate um, both my videos and the video user in the link alright thanks YouTube um, just watch out for more videos and PM me if you have any troubles